With the 2010 World Cup happening later this year in South Africa, we've got the Under-17 Elite Stage Mini Tournament happening before that. We're here with Paul Key, Under-17 Northern Ireland coach. Paul, with the, elite, with the tournament happening in Northern Ireland, why are the finals getting played in Liechtenstein? Well, each year, um, uh, previous to the competition starting, you have to decide which country's hosting it, and this, this year it's Liechtenstein. Liechten Stein's turn. Your under-17 team has been drawn against Spain, Belgium and Poland in Group 4 of the tournament. With Spain being under-17 champions twice, how dangerous an opposition do they look? Well, they're very dangerous. <clears throat> the last number of years they've always been in the top four, at least semi-finalists. Um, I think, as you say, they've won it two out of three years. They're quality opposition. <clears throat> they have a conveyor belt to players, which they produce. So it's going to be very difficult. But at the same time, because it's in Northern Ireland, it gives us a a good advantage, so we'll be doing our best to take the game to Spain. With the top team from each group going through to the finals in Liechtenstein, how much of an advantage is it for yourself that the games for your team are getting played in home soil? Well, it will be, as I say, you know, the likes of Spain, um, Poland and Belgium coming here, we re we're recognised that we're the host nation, so we have to use that to our advantage. We have to get the, the Northern Ireland public behind us. We have to make sure that we play the Northern Ireland brand of football that will uh, make it difficult for Spain. You know, we recognise that they're technically very good. That's the first game, that's the one we're concentrating on at the minute. So we'll have to make sure that we're well prepared and we, um, we give them a good Northern Ireland welcome. Now your next Northern Ireland youth captain yourself, how much of a change have you seen in the game since your time of playing at that age? Well, there's certainly more activity now. Um, maybe when I was playing, we maybe had a couple of games a year, maybe one get together. Um, this year there's been quite a number of get togethers, um, which is good from the association's point of view. We've been able to um, work on tactics, work on, on a lot of new systems that we're trying to bring out for the players. So it's, uh, I would say there's more contact time now, more game time, more training sessions time. So that's that, that's augurs well for the player to, to improve it at the national level. And finally, are there any players that we should keep a particular eye open for for the future? Well, there's quite a number. Um, quite recently there, young Luke McCulloch, uh, young centre-back, has signed for Manchester United. Um, he's actually a year young, he can play next year as well. Um, we have got Joshua Carson, who's been captain on a number of occasions. He's at Upswich and doing very well at Upswich. James Knowles at uh, Blackburn Rovers is an talented young player. Um, but I could name numerous, you know, Jordan Watson, Sunderland, left-back. Um, uh, Jack Warburton from Watford, all players that have done very well. Matthew Ball at Norwich, players have done very, very well um, in the qualifying campaign in Andorra. And, and again, there's local ki kids like Stefan Lavery at Dungannon who has been consistent and he's under 17 training and his games as well. He's been very good. All right, best luck for the tournament then. Thank you very much.